Thank you. <laughs> I like Wilkesbury, huh? You guys got pierogi pizza. <laughs> if you missed my PowerPoint presentation on pierogi pizza two weeks ago, please allow me to elaborate from where we last left off. I got one today from Newton's. <laughs> Newton's Bar, huh? You been there? Yeah. Home of the B and B. That's brown and bubbly. That's they put American cheese. They make it brown for you. And if that's not enough, they make it bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so brown, and bubbly. I was eating in front of the mirror and I looked at my body, and I thought to myself, I remember those commercials with the Ethiopians. The, the kids with the swollen bellies. I felt like, are they? do they have Pagash pizza over there too? That's why no one's feeding those kids. They look like they already ate. Don't laugh at third world countries. That's part of the PowerPoint presentation of my pierogi pizza seminar. Um... I got, I mean, I'm not trying to body shame myself, but I don't want to make fun of other people. It's too easy. I'll just make fun of myself so we can get away with it, okay? I feel like there's more of me than there was before. And there's too much of me trapped inside the same body. And in 2024, you're supposed to embrace yourself and your differences. So I came out to my parents as plural. <laughs> my pronouns are they and them. And also, Goldie Poldy Dumpster Boy. <laughs> In fact, I came out to them at the Olive Garden. <laughs> yeah, you heard right, so if they don't accept me, Olive Garden will, because there I'm family. <laughs> I got the DNA test. My father was a breadstick. <laughs> so, a coroner, a mortician, and a grave digger are fighting over a hot corpse. What the? This is a good one. This is a good one. The coroner says, I saw her first. <laughs> oh, you're above that, huh? Necrophiliac jokes. You're, be you're doing better than that. <coughs> you can do better. Do you guys ever stay at the Holiday Inn? <laughs> Not just one of them. The Holiday Inn. The big one. The good one. I was there. Weren't we over there two weeks ago, honey? We did. I had bagash pizza. I brought it up into the room for a three-way. <laughs> I was walking down the, the hallway of the hotel Holiday Inn. It's a holiday every day there. Jehovah Witnesses won't go there. <laughs> They're highly allergic to fun. <laughs> I was in the hallway, and there was a Dominican maid scolding a, a man with Down syndrome. And I looked at the man getting scolded at. He had a shirt that said, Team Pineapple. Upon walking around further, I concluded that there is a staff of special needs people called Team Pineapple. And the meat Dominican lady is their boss. And I thought to myself, Team Pineapple. I, their, their cleaning job is called Operation Messy Boo. <laughs> Team Pineapple. Why would they hire these people? And I thought to myself, they could save money on the Windex. They could just lick the windows. <laughs> I'm a frugal man myself. Broke, in fact, is the term they use these days. You could tip them in jelly beans. <laughs> this is not good. There's a downside, and I do mean I put the downs in downside. That when they, when Team Pineapple goes to strip the beds, they can't resist building pillow forts, can they? <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't make fun of the special need team pineapple cleanup crew. <laughs> you shouldn't make fun of them, but what you shouldn't do is hire them and pay them off in fruit roll-ups either. <laughs> I'm just telling the jokes. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> you know, I've been drinking a lot lately. Before that, I was still drinking. I've been drinking a lot some more tonight. I've been getting lots of Vietnam flashbacks. And it turned out to be mash reruns the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Hawkeye, am I wrong? <laughs> fucking Alan Alda. Okay, what are you gonna do about that? I don't know. You guys going to Cinema 309 tonight? <laughs> Gretchen, you know Cinema, these locals love it. <laughs> you know how in Times Square they got dirty movie theaters? The cool people here do too. 
In this eight times, it's open 9 a.m. <laughs> I've been to Wilkesbury five times. I've been there twice. And tomorrow morning, we're getting the early bird special. I've been reading reviews on Cinema 309. <laughs> Your one-stop shop for entertainment. And the reviews are hilarious. There's a lot of them are just advertisements from horrors, but the one lady used, she used the word diaper as a verb in her review. She said she was so loaded full of cum, she had to diaper up to saddle out on the way to her car. Who diapers up? When was the last time diaper was a verb? I think she's wasting her holes. When you're in this good... I think she's wasted her holes. If I was in Wilkes-Barre and I had limited capacity in this manly, good-looking body of mine that you envy, I would sooner fill it with your indigenous pierogi pizza of Wilkes-Barre. If you don't believe me, I have the eight, these fucking guys. That guy ate all the pizza. I'll tell you what, hot dog man ate the pizza. I got a pagosh in my trunk, and that's not a metaphor only. Thanks. Give it up for doing it. Yeah. <laughs>